20-year-old beauty pageant winner Iwuchu Kuvanasa is hoping to encourage young Nigerians to stop depending on the government for their means of livelihood. The Imo State-born face of Candy City beauty pageant winner, who also runs an automatic garage alongside her father, believes there are a variety of unique opportunities around the society that young people can take advantage of, instead of sitting idle and blaming the government for lack of jobs. She also prescribes a return to the study of history in our school curriculum as a means of equipping young people with knowledge of the Nigerian heritage and inspiring them to be creative. Here. I think um, in life, you just need to create an idea for yourself. You don't just wait for the government. Like a lot of people, when they are done with school, they will tell you they are looking for a job one place to the other. I don't think that works for me. It never worked for me. I created the idea myself and it really, really worked for me. And anything we had today, we started from the scratch. Nobody, government never contributed anything in our sources. So I don't think any, any entrepreneur out there, you really need to think of something new, something to inspire yourself. Anything can bring out anybody. Anything can bring you out. It's just how determined you are to get it. Because when I was doing this project, people were like, how can, how can you do such a business? Such business is meant for men. I will tell you, there's no business that is meant for anybody. And you can handle it and you can manage it yourself. So I don't think there is a big deal inside. And being an entrepreneur, doesn't, you don't even require much money. It's just your idea and how you fix things for yourself. You don't need millions to become somebody. You don't. Because there are people that have that and they don't even have any idea. They don't even know how to make use of that. There are people that started business with 4,000 there and you see where they are today. Vanessa came tops from a class of 364 contestants. She explained that during the boot camp, she was heavily discouraged by the appearance of some of the other contestants who were taller than she is and fit more perfectly into the stereotyped image of a beauty queen. Sometimes I don't really think um, beauty pageant is just all about um, skin beauty. It has to do with a lot of things. I want you to have in mind and what you would do if you are actually emerge as one of the winners, really. So that's what I think. I really had a lot of challenges during the contest, really. Because at that point, I was in a worry. There was no means of me coming to Lagos. And during that time, we were having issues in Imo State. And for me to come to Lagos wasn't easy for me. It wasn't. And even while I was, the, I was at the camp, I had no money with me. I was just kind of, I hope I'm going to win this. If I don't win this, what will I think of myself? That's all. So a lot of things happened during that period, a lot.